to our weekly posture of the week, you guys. I'm so excited to bring this to you as always. Of course, my name is Heather and I am a certified yoga instructor. I am also a beauty expert and a mama on a mission. I am the founder of True Beauty Movement in partnership here with Gaiam as a Gaiam Guru Ambassador. So if you guys are new to our weekly posture, welcome. We do this every single Tuesday live here. And then I get all these videos up on my YouTube channel so you guys can watch all of my yoga postures of the week and really do these postures on your watch, on your schedule anytime. So you guys, today I'm really, really excited to bring you kind of a traditional posture when it comes to yoga. You might see this a lot, and it is Virabhadrasana 2 or Warrior 2 posture. So this is a beautiful posture. It's a classic posture, and I'm going to step back and show you the beginner, the intermediate, and the advanced of this posture. So we're going to do it a little bit differently than what we normally do. I'm going to do the posture first. I kind of felt called to do that in my meditation this morning, so I'm going to listen to that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the essential oils that really help to enhance Virabhadrasana 2 or Warrior 2. And then of course our beautiful positive affirmation that's going to be really good for this. So I'm going to take a step back here and feel free to follow along you guys as I go through this. Feel free to also post questions here as I do the posture. Um, so again, I know I'm doing it a little different, almost a little backwards than what I normally do. I usually do the oils, the mantra, then the posture. I think this would be kind of nice because as I'm showing you the posture, you guys can write down certain questions, you know, just make your questions here. And then as I come back and talk about the oils and the positive affirmation, I can see what questions you guys have. Okay. So warrior two. So what we're going to do is take a step back on our mat and I'm going to start by having my left foot forward. It doesn't matter if you're just going to do the opposite side. You always want to, of course, balance the sides in yoga, right? So what we're going to do to start, you can even just start with the toes facing forward, you guys, in more of a beginner stance. So just really kind of like a wide stance here. And what you want to do is the very first step before you even turn your toes, okay? You want to have your feet as wide as one, one leg distance apart. So basically, if you look at this space here, that's probably about one of my leg distance. And you can look as you go and always adjust as needed, but just start with that. And then what we wanna do is place our hands on our hips for stability here, okay? And then we're going to slowly move our front foot out. So for me, it's my left foot, okay? So we have those, those toes facing forward. And then this back foot, so my right foot, I'm bringing that in at a 45 degree angle. So this is one of, I would say, the biggest kind of um, mistakes that I see or something where people don't quite notice this, they all of a sudden move out with their arms out. Make sure that that back foot, you guys, a couple things here. A lot of people keep it at a 90 degree angle and that can really hurt your knee long term because you're starting to twist forward if you're doing warrior one or here you're opening through the hips and that knee can kind of get thrown off here. So we want to bring those toes in at a 45 degree angle. Do you see that adjustment? So 90 degree, 45 degree, bring the toes in a little bit more. And what that's doing is it's stretching back here all through the calf muscle, and then it's allowing us to really get a little bit more solid in our posture here in warrior two posture. So if you are doing more of a beginner stance, I would look at the alignment of your feet, again, because we're setting our foundation to who we are here, really important, to align our root chakra so that we can branch out, like I always talk about in our weekly postures, right? How important that solid foundation to who we are is before we branch out and reach out to other people, right? So we're aligning the chakras first. So you want to look at this front foot and check out the heel and see if you can do your best if I was to draw a line from that front heel all the way back to have those line up. If you are a brand new beginner, you may want to bring your foot out a little bit wider just to make you feel a little bit more stable. If you feel like you're here and you're kind of walking a tightrope and you're shaking, that's telling you that you want to bring your foot out a little bit wider, okay? It doesn't have to be that dramatic, but it can be just slightly. So then what we're going to do, again, this is still beginners, we're going to just straighten the knee, give that little thigh break here, and then start to bend the knee. And we want to have that front knee at a 90 degree angle here, okay? We're keeping that knee over the ankle, protecting the ankle. So here's another thing I see. Sometimes people will be here. See how far forward my knee is? That can really hurt your knee long term. So what we want to do is army crawl those toes out a little bit here, okay? And that is why we have that long stance here. So that knee's right over the ankle, supporting our foundation so we can grow stronger, okay? So here, that thigh is going to start to call out. That's what we want. We're building strong quads here. And then we have our hands on our hips, okay? And here you can look forward. We do have our wide hips here, okay? So the hips are not forward as they are in Virabhadrasana 1. 
which is warrior one. They're to the side here. So this is where you can look forward, find your strength here, find your focus. And that's really a beginner version of warrior two. You can straighten the knee. I'm going to show you intermediate. It's very subtle, but it's a little bit, a little bit different here, okay? So the intermediate of warrior two posture or Virabhadrasana two, we are bending the knee, same foundation here, okay? So the beginner set us up for success. Now we're branching out, okay? And I like to look kind of where my index finger is pointing, and I like to think of my intention here. So bend that knee, make sure it's over the ankle, check out that back foot, make sure it's at 45 degrees, and just kind of pause here, find your focus, widen through the knee, and give it a little bit of a break there. So if you want to go a little bit more advanced, you guys, um, that's my favorite in this posture, and it's very, very subtle. So advanced kind of looks like intermediate, but what you're going to do is really focus on chakra balance and tilting the tailbone, shoulders down the spine, okay? So what we're doing here, we're bending that front knee, make sure that back foot's at a 45 degree angle, wide, so here's the difference, it's very subtle, okay? Watching closely, watch my shoulders, down slowly. It's really, really subtle. So a lot of people will be here, shoulders down the spine. Here, shoulders down the spine. Next, we're tilting the tailbone. Tilt under, engage the core. Strong warrior two. You'll notice I might be shaking a little bit here. When I'm really in this posture and I'm using isometric movement, I'm really intentional, right? I'm working it through the legs and that can sometimes create a little bit of shakiness, which is actually really good. You're moving through stuff. You're actually working all your different muscles, which is how you get such a fantastic workout from just doing one posture and focusing on your breath. So then the opposite side, certified pure therapeutic grade essential oils that I personally use in my practice. If you're interested in learning more about those, you can always go to my True Beauty Movement page. Make sure you're following me anyway. I'm all about yoga, essential oil, natural non-toxic beauty, and really natural lifestyle tips and tutorials. So it's been really fun connecting with you guys and you know bringing you all of these different tips that really empower you in and out. Okay, so there's information about what I use. Um, if you click the link in my bio, it says free wellness and beauty consult. You can fill that out and um, we really guide you to the best thing for your top three goals and just really you know, guide you accordingly to live your best life, right? That's what we're all about. So here, bergamot oil is the first focus. Bergamot, you know how I tilted the tailbone? That was really important because we're engaging the core. So remember, with the chakras, we're tilting slightly and we're starting to just tilt slightly, engage the core here. That is starting to activate our joy, our self-confidence. Bergamot is really, really good for self-confidence. So here, to enhance your postures that you do in yoga, you always want to aim to use essential oils and crystals and mantras and positive affirmations to enhance the benefits that you get in your yoga practice. I do like one to three drops on my wrist. Take a nice deep inhale. Slow exhale. And then I like to place this on the upper, you know, kind of neck area just so I'm really smelling the oil so they're close to the nose area, over on the temples, closing my eyes. And then to take that a step further, you guys, you can actually place these directly on the chakra. So I may take this one and just do like one, two drops, rub my hands together and rub this on my actual belly or on like the lower back area, anywhere that's kind of connected to that yellow chakra here in the core area to really activate, activate the, the core strength here, but more importantly, your inner happiness, your inner joy, and your self-confidence. So that can help to kind of enhance the results if you actually place it on the actual chakra, in addition to the traditional places like the bottom of the feet, you know, the um, temples, the wrists, the shoulders, all of that fun stuff. So the second oil that's gonna be really good for this posture, you guys, um, one that I talk about a lot that I'm obsessed with is peppermint really, really good for activating the intuition. But for this, this posture is all about building your solid foundation to who you are. It's also about, you know, increasing your joy and your, you know, your core strength, your core joy, really your fulfillment, if you think about it that way, right? Your fulfillment. Think of your fulfillment in your personal life and your fulfillment in your career life. 
So again, that's why that yellow chakra and that bergamot can be very powerful. Bergamot's linked to self-love, self-confidence. It's a great oil. Peppermint's gonna be really good for mental focus. It's going to be really good for also activating that intuition so you trust yourself when it comes to your happiness and your joy and your fulfillment. But it's also really good, think about when we were reaching forward just a second ago and we were thinking of our intention as we were looking through that index finger, we're finding our dristi, which is called in Sanskrit, or our focus, right? So this is where I like to do again like one to three drops of my peppermint. And I love peppermint, bottom of the feet to really feel the effects fast and then up here on the shoulders, the neck. And always remember with peppermint, I know you guys hear me say it all the time, but I just like to remind you, make sure that essential oil is back here in the hairline because peppermint can make the eyes tear. And you know, you just want to be aware of that. It won't hurt you, but if it goes too close to the eyes, they will tear. Unlike, you know, lavender and bergamot and things like that, okay? So those are the oils that'll help enhance that inner joy, that fulfillment, that mental focus, and that solid foundation Again, you could just get on your mat and do yoga and not do anything else. But if you want to enhance the benefits, I'm a firm believer in essential oils, positive affirmations, crystals. Um, I've seen it with my own eyes with my clients, and I've um, seen it, you know, and felt it myself in my own practice. So I'm a big, you know, firm believer, and you guys see that a lot on my True Beauty Movement page. So the mantra or the positive affirmation. Okay, so this, I have my big iPad Pro here for you guys. So you guys know I love those cards that I always hold for you, like the feathers on them. You guys see them a lot. If you check out the um, weekly posture highlights and you look through it on the Gaia page and on my True Beauty Movement page, you see me holding a bunch of those beautiful positive affirmations. I love some of the handheld ones. When I'm on the go or in my practice if I'm out in nature and I don't have that with me, or even just this morning in our living room when I woke up and I was... I just didn't want to grab a card. I, I opened up my phone. I have an app that I really like, and if you want to know what the app is, um, it's actually on my YouTube channel. Just click the link in my True Beauty Movement bio, and there is a, click on the um, YouTube option, subscribe, and then there is a video, you guys, and it's actually how I organize my phone and my iPad, and you'll see one that's all about um, affirmations, and I, I walk you through this app, and it's great. And what's cool about it is if you look at it here, you basically push it, and every day gives you a surprise affirmation. And guys, just so you know, like this isn't like sponsored or in anything collaboration with them. I just really like this app. I just want to make sure you guys know that. Like I use it personally and I wanted to share that with you guys, okay? So um, this one today that I, that I pushed for you guys, which I think is beautiful for Warrior Two posture. It is calmness surrounds me, energy fills me, okay? So calmness surrounds me, energy fills me. So I love what that's saying as far as building your solid foundation. Calmness surrounds me, right? So as you're reaching your arms out in warrior two, and then just letting yourself be energized from your root chakra as you branch out. I think it's beautiful. And as always with these weekly postures, it tends to be that the, the right mantra, the right affirmation, the right oils, and the right postures all seem to come together perfectly for you guys. Um, which is pretty cool because I don't really plan these too much. Um, I just really ask, you know, what do you guys seem to hear today? And then trust the universe and that the right things that have come to me at the right time in my morning practice. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this True Beauty Movement in partnership with Gaia, of course, who I just love so much. Um, you know, our weekly posture. Remember, I do this every single Tuesday. My name's Heather. And make sure for my True Beauties that you guys are following Gaia. And for Gaia, make sure you're following me at True Beauty Movement. Remember, that is T-R-U without the E, Beauty Movement. You can check it out, see what my page is all about, click the link in my bio, check that out. And last but not least, you guys, I've had a lot of people ask about my Gaia clothes. So um, these pants are Gaia. It's one of my favorite outfits I got from them. I love this tank as well, very soft. You guys get 20% off, just go to Gaia.com and just type in Heather20, and there is a capital H, Heather20. You get 25 or 20% off, excuse me, off the whole site. Yoga mats, blocks, straps, clothes, whatever you see there. Um, and I have a reminder of that. If you click the link in my bio, you'll see that. Okay, guys? So I know people have been asking, so I want to be sure and let everybody know. So I'm going to let you go with that. I hope you guys love Warrior Two, kind of the proper way of doing Warrior Two posture, Vira Madrasana Two, that a lot of people don't realize. So I hope this really was eye-opening for you guys and helps you have a stronger, more inspired practice. And until next time, be balanced, be true, 
and be proud of you. See you later, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today's true beauty quick tip. If you like what you see and for more confidence building tips on how to be a beauty from the inside out, remember to subscribe to our channel and connect with us at truebeautymovement.com. That's T-R-U without the E, beauty movement. Love you guys. Until next time, remember, be balanced, be true, and proud to be you.